Good morning, ladies. We need to talk. Actually, I'm gonna take off my glasses for this one because I'm gonna get real. I wanna be real grounded and with you here with what I'm gonna share. So it's morning here in rainy Los Angeles. I've been traveling a lot. I've got my Edgar Allan Poe mug. And let me just have a, have a sip of this coffee because I need it here. Mm. So I'm known as the mystical matchmaker because I've been a professional matchmaker for over two decades. I used to be the Beverly Hills matchmaker because I do work in the high end of things, but I am so magical. I've stepped into that realm where I'm working with the intuition, with mediumship, with crystals, all that good stuff. But it's still important to get real and to really realize this human condition here. And when we're dating, when we're picking a partner, and when we are crying on the floor because a man is not treating us the way we deserve to be treated. We're not aligned. And so, yeah, I've got my tarot cards with me. I travel with them and women will reach out and have an emergency, want a reading, what's going on here. And a very typical situation is a woman will reach out to me and want me to pull some cards once, really is looking for more of a future focused reading, wanting to know what's going to happen. What is the outcome going to be with this man? And many times the men are the ones who ghost. They will um, come on real strong and then they'll pull away. Well, I don't know if I'm ready for a relationship. I love you, but I can't get over my ex or I feel guilty or I am I just don't know. And they're coming back and forth and you're just you're spinning around like a top. And I want to share from 20 years of matchmaking and coaching women that it's time to ground down and to know your worth and to know what you want. I coach women in boundaries. That's one of the big things that I coach in. And a boundary is knowing what you will and will not accept, what you will and will not tolerate, basically what you want in your life, and then see what's lined up with that. And if a man is coming and going, he doesn't know what he wants, maybe he even gives you some little digs, he's gaslighting you, there's some little insults. Ladies, it's better to spend some time alone. And I'm gonna encourage you to get, it, get out your journal. Get, it, get out a beautiful journal, flowers on it, angels, whatever. Get yourself a fancy, nice journal that you can sit down with yourself for at least five minutes in the morning and write down what you want in your life what you want from a relationship. And if that other person is not up to the task, if they haven't done the work on themselves, if they're using you as an emotional punching bag and you're taking the hits or you're sitting there crying and you're 30, 40, 50, 60 years old and still wondering what the... Time to cut that guy loose. Go work on yourself, go heal yourself, and you heal yourself and work on it. And, what, and take a look, take a look back at your childhood. Why are you settling for crumbs? Where was that set up? Maybe at 10 years old you were bullied like me. I was bullied terribly. Girls would pull hair out of my head. I remember running on the playground once there was nobody it was in the back of the school and it was after school and I was going to a friend's house and I, I there was a band of bullies throwing literally throwing darts at my ankles and I was running as fast as I could there are things that happen in our childhood in our past that we install in the back of our minds in our subconscious I'm not worthy I'm only worried to be bullied I'm only worried to be left worthy to be left Maybe your, your father left your mother. Maybe you were um, physically, emotionally, sexually abused. And so these are things we need to look at and heal and reinstall another way of being, another way of thinking, another way of feeling about ourselves so that we don't accept these freaking crumbs. Even if they're crumbs from a, from a cake, maybe it's a beautiful, fancy, you know, picture one of those wedding cakes and you don't get a slice you only get to pick up the crumbs on the floor after the wedding's over, after the party's over. So step up to the 
queen that you are, that goddess that you are. And yeah, maybe it'll hurt. You got used to this person. You, you like the attention. You don't want to be alone. I'm going to give you two oracle cards that I pulled, okay? Got to get my glasses on. So Lady Venus downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. Look at that. Look at that bitch. Is she going to, would she take crumbs? I don't think so. All right, now Freya, this is a badass bitch. All right, look at, she's got the raven on her shoulder and her message is phases and cycles. There is a beginning with every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. And so those illusions that this man is gonna change, that suddenly he's gonna see that you are everything he's ever wanted and that he's gonna treat you the way you wanna be treated. People show you who they are. It's more actions than words. They may be saying, oh no, yes, I love you, I care. I, well, and giving you excuses, watch their actions. All right, you're gonna be okay. If you need coaching, I'm here. But don't be afraid to cut somebody loose. Don't be afraid to say, hey, let's take a break because I don't feel an alignment here and I feel you have some work to do on yourself. And I'll do my work. All right, I love you very much. Until next time.